So you have your transducers, your infusions, and your uh, extra IV bag ready. Okay, then the next thing that we're gonna do is we just gotta open our kit here, okay? Now that my kit's open, it's time to prep the patient. And when I'm prepping, I start in the center. I do circular motions and prep outwards. Now that the patient's prepped, I'm gonna put on a uh, sterile gown and sterile gloves. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, drape the neck. So you got this little circle here. That circle's gonna go on the point uh, on where I'm gonna insert the, the line. Okay, now that the patient's neck is draped, it's time to do a full body drape. Okay. Now that the patient is prepped and draped, it's time to uh, insert the needle at the appropriate landmark. And let me show you those landmarks real quick, and then we will do the central line. We put the patient in Trendelenburg, and then we have them turn their head slightly to the left, if we're doing a right IJ, because that aligns the anatomy to where the IJ is usually lateral to the carotid. So once his head is turned to the left, here are my landmarks. I go right there to the sternal notch, and then there's this muscle just to the right of the sternal notch. That's the anterior head of your sternocleidomastoid. Okay? And then there's this little groove that you can see in there before you see this other muscle right there. That's the lateral head of your sternocleidomastoid. So you can think of these two as making two sides of a triangle with the base of the triangle being the clavicle. Okay? So what you do is you just follow this up until these two muscles will eventually come together at the apex of a triangle right there. Okay, so it's about right there. That's the apex of the triangle. That is going to be uh, the insertion site of the needle, okay? This should be lateral to the thyroid cartilage, okay? So that's our landmarks. You usually can get to those landmarks if from the sternal notch, you kind of go three fingers over, three fingers up, maybe up a little bit higher. And then you also want to make sure that you are palpating a carotid pulse and that you make sure that your insertion side of your needle is lateral to the pulse. Some people don't even find the apex of the triangle here. Some people just go lateral to the thyroid cartilage and they just, just make sure that they're lateral to the carotid pulse and that's their insertion side of their needle. Once we insert our needle at this point, we use it at a 45 degree angle and point it towards the ipsilateral nipple. Now that we're at the appropriate landmarks, um, lateral to the carotid pulse, about the level of the thyroid cartilage at the apex of the sternocleidomastoid, it's now time for me to localize if the patient is awake with a 25 gauge needle. Uh, but after that's done, it's time to use our finder needle. Okay, so right when you get under the skin, you hold negative pressure with this. And then when you enter the vein, you should get a flash of blood. And it looks like I've hit it right there. Sometimes after you hit the vein with the finder needle, you can hold it there and then grab your other needle and just directly find it. Or you can just simply take it out and just remember where you inserted. All right, those are the initial steps for all central lines. Check out the links that I have uh, to view the different types of central lines from here on out.